When researching the client, it was clear to me that the Shinoharas have a very unique relationship. It's quite powerful and almost chaotic, but you can sense a deep love that they have for each other. They're both artists, and while Yushio's talents were recognised early on, the same couldn't be said for Noriko. While it's unfortunate that Noriko has struggled for as long as she has, it's really shaped who she's become as a person. Recently, however, Noriko's art has been gaining a lot more attention, and her perseverance and determination to break through really resonated with me. That message of emergence is what I wanted to convey through my design. The first thing that came to mind when visiting the existing house was that the facade had to stay. There was so much character and history behind it that I thought it would be a shame to cover it up or strip it bare. In my design sketches of the house, I drew a singular, almost monolithic structure that was suspended in the air to create this dramatic, imposing figure towering overhead. This was an allusion to Noriko rising above or ascending past the existing structure. The shape of the existing building meant that there would be parts of the new structure that didn't quite fit into the current envelope, and the idea that this dark shape couldn't be contained within its confines, I thought that was a really powerful image. I brought these sketches over into AutoCAD to get a more accurate sense of scale, as well as figure out some of the more complex details like the stairs and entry threshold. While I was drawing the building in 2D, it also helped to model the building in a 3D environment at the same time. The 3D model helped to more clearly understand volume as well as facilitate an easy way to experiment with massing. It was during this experimentation phase that I discovered having the new structure emerging from the existing building at an angle would strengthen the theme of emergence in a few ways. Firstly, it created a stronger impression of emergence from an exterior standpoint. Secondly, the incline introduced the need for platforms in the interior. What I really wanted to convey was for that sense of emergence to build as you journeyed through the structure. This new orientation meant that there would be ascension at every stage of the journey as you progressed through the building. You'd start at street level and climb the stairs to the front door of the micro apartment. From there you would make your way through the apartment and encounter more steps to climb before finally reaching the balcony at the end of the apartment. I knew that the start of the journey would be very important, and that would be heavily shaped by the first impression of the stairway entrance. Initially I chose to flare out the entry point to the staircase in an enclosure inspired by the micro hu tong by Zhang Ke. This was to draw people toward the entrance, but the effect turned out to be much too inviting for what I was after. So I modified the design to be less open and to face off the street front. This allowed the beginning of the journey to start from a more constrained state. An important design consideration was how the street level entrance would meet up with the front door of the apartment. I chose for this link to be constructed from perforated metal in a form that closely resembled the hanging red stairs by Diapo. This material was chosen to ensure that the stairs didn't have an equal value to the solid charred timber walls of the new structure but could share some common properties with it, like its colour and shape. Another important aspect of the design was the modulation of natural light within the apartment. The interior view from the front entrance inspired me to control the amount of light that entered the space. Through staggered skylights, the amount of natural light exposure increases as you progress from the front door to the kitchen. Even brighter still is the rear room which contains a floored ceiling glass window that opens up to the balcony. The elements of ascension combined with the graduation of light work together to create a narrative of emergence as you make your way through the structure. The choreography of the journey building to a crescendo when the last room is reached is a powerful moment that suggests that maybe walking into the light can be a good thing.